Same again. Sloppy, ploppy porridge. Every day it's sloppy, ploppy porridge. Nonsense, Nokio. Why, only yesterday it was ploppy, sloppy porridge. <laughs> ah, Frank. Afternoon, sir. Lunch smells, uh, ploppy. Mm. <laughs> Let's hope the acts for today's Freedom Show eat plenty. They'll need the energy. Let's see. We've got uh, Ooh, Christian Magician, Side Swipe, Ed Muir on Chinese Pole, and Waterman. If only I could be in the Freedom Show. I know I could win. Don't you mean we? I know I could we? What are you talking about? Hello. Is um, anybody sat here? Oh, I'm new. Tony Trance, stage hypnotist. Wow, I've heard of you. Nice to meet you. Oh, uh, <laughs> is it true that you've got eight years for forgetting to unhypnotize an audience? <laughs> yeah, well, to be honest with you, it was quite embarrassing. I mean, 200 people all still thinking they were Elvis Presley. The queue at the burger stand was massive. Ooh. You've got a very strong aura. That's probably all the porridge. I think that hypnotism's a load of rubbish. No, no, d don't be rude, Melv. Oh, that's all right. A lot of people are sceptical. Melvin O'Doo. Hey, no way! He knows your name! Oh, yes. Oh, to be fair, it is written on his shirt. Could you hypnotise me? Could you hypnotise Melvin? Could you hypnotise a goldfish? Are you hypnotising us now? Are you? Are you? Leave it, Pete. It's a load of rubbish. Look, firstly, I'm not hypnotising you, all right? And secondly, even if I was hypnotising you, I'd have to use my magic amulet. Then I would get you to stare into the amulet with your tiny eyes until you're feeling sleepy. Then just a couple of simple words such as, oh, I don't know, whack a check a pom pom bang, you're under, and you'd fall into a very deep trance. And then all I would have to do is click my fingers and you will do anything that I want, such as, oh, I don't know, think that your pants are on fire. OK. <laughs> oh, no. I've gone and done it again. Oh, don't worry, it'll be all right in an hour. Or is it ten? I forget. Anyway, like I say, click your fingers and he will do anything that you say. <laughs> Mustache! Oh. I wish I could hypnotise people. I can make the governor put me in the Freedom Show. Precious. So much control. So much power. My sparkly. Magical knickknack. You should give it back. You shouldn't mess with things like that. I think it's a bad idea. No, you think it's a great idea. I think it's a great idea. And you're French. Oui, un bon idée. And a woman. Oui, un bon idée. <laughs> What's all the noise in here? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> Mr. Burgess, Mr. Gimber, I'm just showing Melvin my brand new puppet, Mr. Hypno. Hello, Bertie Gimber. No, Kyo. <laughs> Your puppets will never cease to amaze me, because they never started to amaze me. Uh, well, in that case, concentrate on the cheeky trinkets. Ooh, Mr. Gimbert, you're starting to feel sleepy and a bit dopey. He's always like that. Mind you, I feel a bit sleepy. And you're under. Mon Dieu, tu l'as fait? Right. Mr. Burgess, Mr. Gimbert, you will now become the complete opposite of everything you normally are. In the back of sir. What happened there? Well, uh, thank you, Peter. I quite enjoyed meeting your little puppets for a change. You know, I don't know why, but I really like you, lad. And you, Madame Odu. Merci. You know, I like you two so much, I've got to recommend you both for immediate release. That's against Slammer Code of Conduct, Mr Burgess. Section B267, subsection 4. Prisoners must be incarcerated. Chill out, Jezza, baby. It's a beautiful world out there. Let's go spread some smiles. I'm sorry. Run me through this again, Frank. Well, sir, I want all the prisoners to have cupcakes, medals, jacuzzis, fluffy pillows, complimentary mints, and then to be released from prison early, sir. It's all the little sweethearts deserve. That will cost exactly £871.14, and 14 pence, assuming inflation at 3%. What's happened? You've both got all weird, like Robbie Williams. Oh, I just want to give all the prisoners a big hug, sir. Something's happened, and I'm going to find out what. Wait, sir! I want to give you a big hug as well, sir. Get out of here. Peter? Hello, Peter, my old mate. Three things in, mate. Bonjour! What's all this? What have you been doing? Oh, well, it was this amulet. Oh, oh that's right. <laughs> the amulet. Have a look at it, everybody. Have a look, have a look, and relax, and you're under. 
Right, Governor, I want you to forget anything you saw here today. Forget everything. Forget everything. Oh, was it something you wanted, Gov? Uh, who's the Governor? You're the Governor. No, really, who's the Governor? Uh, who am I? What is this place? Why am I wearing this suit? What happened on EastEnders? 1.7 minutes till showtime, sir. Would it help if I gave you a little squeeze, sir? Whoa, 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 snap out of it. I didn't mean you forget everything. You're the governor. Wake up. Oh, Peter, look, I've gone and lost my amulet. I can't find it anywhere. Have you seen what's going on? Oh, Tony, I've proper messed up. I've got your amulet. I wish I'd never taken it. I tried to use it to get into the Freedom Show, but it's all gone horribly wrong. I need your help. Please, can you help me? Only kidding. I had you go in there, didn't I? Eh? Right, come on then. Let's get everyone back to normal, shall we? <clears throat> right. Whatever just happened, just didn't. You and your mind-bending friend here have got some explaining to do. Pronto. I thought his name was Peter, not Pronto. Shut up. It's nearly showtime, sir. What is showtime? What is time? Who is Noel Edmonds? Oh, dearie, dearie me. It looks like you've got him in a very deep trance. Don't worry, I've had an idea. <clears throat> Look into the amulet. And you're the governor. Well, for now, anyway, I'll try and get him fixed. <laughs> Who's the governor? I'm the governor. How do I look? In that case, it's showtime. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to HM Slammer, where you decide which prisoner is to be released. Now, please welcome your host, keeping criminals at bay until you've had your say. It's the Governor! <laughs> Welcome, jailers and jailbirds, to the Slammer. Let me tell you about these acts we've got. We've got some wonderful, wonderful guys who do extreme martial arts. They're called Sideswipe. Ooh. And we've got a gentleman who does something with a very skinny lamppost. It's Ed Muir on Chinese Pole. Ooh. And we've also got a gentleman who does amazing things with water. Fully enough, the act is called Waterman. Ooh. But first, though, we've got a wonderful act for you. He's a magician, but will he be magicking his way out of the prison or will he be staying for a longer spell? Let's find out. We should give a warm welcome to Christian Magician! <laughs>
Alon fans, what an amazing act, but will you be saying abracadabra or abracadoodoo? Over to you, Mr. Burgess. Did you have a favourite bit? Um, when the Burgess disappeared. When the Burgess disappeared? Yeah. What, me? <laughs> no, the actual bird. Oh, when the bird just disappeared. Yes. Diction, miss. What about you, young lady? What did you um, think? I thought it was really good and the dogs were really cute. They were really cute. Now, uh, do you have dogs? No. And do you think you might be releasing him today, Christian Magician? Yeah. Even though you haven't seen the other three acts yet? Yeah. <laughs> wow, you must have loved him. And sum that act up for me, sir, in one final word. Exhilarating. Exhilarating, sir. Very good, very good. Well, time now for today's second act. And what an act we've got for you. Oh, it's wonderful. Your full name is Edward Archibald Robbins. You have a keen liking for drinking tea, marmalade, silk underpants, and the music of James Blunt. Actually, forget the last one. I'll do you a favour. Oh, and you're the governor of the slammer. And you're back. Are you still in a trance? No, give us hand out this chair. Come on. Uh, hey, the Freedom Show. Gov, it's this way. Oh, yes. No. Hey, hey. There seems to be some mistake here. Hey, hey, there's no mistake here. Yeah, I think there is a big mistake, actually. No, I don't think there is a big mistake here. Uh, I'm the governor. Uh, I'm the governor. No, 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 I'm the governor. Never mind all that. Where's this side? Who's the governor? Hand it over. There, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Burgess. Uh, take him off to the cells. Right. Go on. Are you doing? Are you doing? Are you doing? Hello, Jason. Yeah. Jail Burgess, who's the governor? Yeah. Right, we've got rid of him. Your suit looks ridiculous. Never mind. On with the show. Serving two years in the slammer for knocking an audience out. Literally, the martial arts genius of Sideswipe. <laughs> Personal, hey, we come for the oh. All me have to do is send for the new gun. Anything test dead. We oh. just fly off as a head. All the mercy. When him see me, 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 see the hit man a go. See me, 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 see me just can't done. See me, 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 see the hit man a go. See me, 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 see me just can't done. Me one time, me one time. Me come on them funeral, them king say, them king say. Carrying them, right? They come back at you like that. He, ha, oh, ha, oh, yeah. oh. oh, oh, no, you're all right, look. Go get me embrication. Oh, dear. Oh, I think I've pulled a fat. Anyway. Oh, what did you think of that act, Mr. Burgess? Mr. Burgess? Oh. Now then, sir, was that Crouching Tiger or a Hidden Dragon? Um, I thought it was really good and they were very acrobatic. And they were very skillful. Very skillful. You like that act a lot, sir? Yes. Preferred it... it to the first one, sir? I think they're equal. They're equal in your mind at the moment? Yes, and, it, and it's going to be a tight contest. 
It's going to be a tight contest. I like the way you're thinking, sir. Did you like Sideswipe? I thought fantastic is not the word. I thought it was brilliant. It was just awesome. It was quality. Have one final word. Sa. Lively. Lively, sa. Well, will Sideswipe be karateing their way to freedom at the end of the Freedom Show? You will decide. Now, on to our next performing prisoner. What an act. A man and his pole. He's serving three and a half... Right, well... This should get everything back to normal. <clears throat> Your full name is Peter Nokia. You are a friend of Melvin Odoom. What? Just a sec. And you'll always clean the cell, even if it's Melvin's turn. And you'll always let Melvin choose a TV channel. And you'll always give your pudding to Melvin. Alalaka! What will you think of Ed Muir on Chinese Pole? <laughs> If someone stood up in a crowd and raised his voice up way out loud and waved his arm and shook his leg, you'd notice some. If someone in the movie show yelled, Fire! In the second row! This whole place is a powder keg! You'd notice some. And even without clucking like a hen, Everyone gets noticed now and then Unless, of course, that person it should be Invisible Inconsequential Cellophane Mr. Cellophane Should've been my name Mr. Cellophane Cause you can look right through me Walk right by me And never know I'm there I tell you Cellophane Mr. Cellophane Should I been my name Mr. Cellophane Cause you can look right through Never know I'm there. I tell you, cellophane, Mr. Cellophane, should I my name, Mr. Cellophane? Cause you can look right through me, walk right by me. Up too much of your time. Wow, I'm walking into the pole there. I was, I was that impressed. Wonderful, wonderful. But what did you think of that act? I like this act because he did lots and lots and lots of things I would like to do. Right, sir. So what would you like to do? Um, hang upside down and. Slide. Are you a bat, sir? Maybe. What a strange boy. I thought it was really cool. Um, I didn't. I wouldn't think he'd be able to hold on that long, and he must be pretty brave. And I'm not sure about his clothes. Definitely the hat. No, not working for me. <laughs> <laughs> right. And for one final word, sir. Gravity defying. That's two, but I'll allow it. Gravity defying, sir. Ed Muir on his Chinese pole. Has he done enough to go free? One more act to see. You having a good time, Janet and Jailbird? Yeah. yeah! We've got one more performing prisoner to see, or prisoners. What a marvellous act this is. Now, they're very unusual indeed. He's called Waterman. He's serving 12 months in the slammer for going to a wet, wet, wet concert and making them wet, wet, wetter. <laughs> Jailers and Jailbirds, will you give a great big ovation and welcome to Waterman! <laughs>
jailers and jailbirds there. I'm, oh. I need me wellies on after that act. Well, well, well. Wet, wet, wet. What, what, what? Right. Waterman or Waterworld? I thought it was absolutely brilliant and I... And I love the way how he squirted water out of his mouth, and I would give him 9 out of 10. Did you like that unusual act? Yeah, I thought it was incredible, and he was like a human water fountain. <laughs> he was. I don't think I'd like a drink out of that water fountain, though, would you? <laughs> no. Ugh. But good enough to go free? Yeah. Now then, young sir, I believe you've drawn a picture of this act. Yes. Would sir. you like to hold it up, up there, and show everyone? <laughs> hold it up nice and high, sir. There's Waterman there. There's Waterman yakking up the water. Is that how you describe it, sir? Yes. Yakking water. Yes. Yes? Mm. Any, any other way of describing that act, sir? It was um, very good, and I thought it was a bit weird, though. Right, and for one final word, sir. Amazing. Amazing, sir. Well, true variety there, four very different acts. Only one can go free from the slammer with the aid of this, the clapometer. But first, let's welcome them all back onto the stage, the performing prisoners, Christian Magician, let's hear it for them. Sideswipe, Ed Muir on Chinese Bowl, and Waterman. Oh, marvellous. There they are. Right, well... What's going to happen? Who's going to get the highest score? First of all, a very unusual act indeed, costing us a fortune here in the Slammer, just in pet food. Will he be going free with all his little chums? Let's hear as you make noise for Christian Magician! <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. A great score, 83.4. And that's just for the doggy and the paws. Wonderful. Well, these gentlemen were absolutely knockout, weren't they? They were all over the place with their martial arts. What did you think of Sideswipe? <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah, look at that. Into the lead. Into the lead with 89 in Sideswipe. Yeah. Right. Well, there they are. Perhaps we'll be able to buy them some shoes. I don't know. But the next man had shoes, he had a hat, he had a pole. Will he be going free over the wall on his pole? It's Ed Muir on Chinese Pole! <laughs> oh, a great act, Ed, but you're staying for some more sloppy, ploppy porridge. Yes, good score, but still in the lead with 89. Will that be enough for Sideswipe to go free? Let's see as we welcome our final act. They were very unusual. They were sensational. Will they be going free from the slammer? It's Waterman! <laughs> oh, oh. It's a good score. It's 81.1, but that means the winner's going free. Swiping their way out on 89. It's Sideswipe! <laughs> You're free to go. Give them a big cheer. They're free. They're going. Oh, well, get out of it. Great scores. Give all the prisoners a big round of applause, please, Jailers and Jailbirds. They were all brilliant. But it means they're going back to the cells. It means you're staying for tea as well. And, uh, Mr Burgess, what's for tea tonight? Oh, it's a three-course meal tonight, sir. At last, something different. A three-course meal. What are the three courses? Sloppy, ploppy and porridge. Oh, <laughs> take it back there. Give right. a big hand, Jailers and Jailbirds. There they are. Big round of applause okay. for all of them. Well... Well, Jailers and Jailbirds, that's almost it from the slammer. But remember one little thing we always say. If you can't sing, dance or rhyme... Dance <laughs> Join us again soon for more fun on the Slammer. Give us a big cheer and bye bye, everyone! Well, that's taught me a lesson. I'm never going to use hypnosis again. Tony, Tony, Mr. Burgess has said you've got to sort through this bag of oh, cheesy socks for the laundry. Well, 
Nearly never. 